Miami is a great place to live, in my opinion, because there's so many young people, there's so much culture, there's so many restaurants and food and bars and just different opportunity to do different things. I commute is so easy. I leave my apartment, walk downstairs, walk across the bridge to my office building, get up to the office, and the longest part of my commute is the elevator ride. The view, the vision, the sea, the sky, the people. This is a place that is vibrant every single day. We're the centerpiece of what I believe is a new wave of young folks choosing to live in the urban core. The downtown art scene in Miami is, is evolving in this period of time with three magnificent organizations building beautiful new facilities. We have just opened the Perez Art Museum. Soon to open is the Frost Science Museum and of course the Adrian R Center. In the proximity of each other, a couple of hundred yards apart, one can only see the future of these three facilities as this location becomes more and more a destination. You know what I love most about downtown Miami? The space between the buildings and the people walking in between. Miami was typically thought of as a private banking type of financial market today. We have hedge funds, we have private equity firms, we have family offices. We have a whole variety of different alternative investment firms. We have crowdfunding. We have venture capital emerging. We have all the ecosystem of professional advisory firms that support all those financial firms. The list goes on and on and on. So I decided to uh, move to downtown uh, coming from the beach where I used to work. Uh, because I think there's a fantastic uh, uh, rejuvenation of this part of the city. Downtown Miami for me represents the future of Miami. I see a lot of developments going on and I think it's great for the city. I think there was a few hotels that were here originally and suddenly there's this huge movement of uh, lots of people and lots of fresh new hotels, fresh view of hospitality uh, coming down downtown and I think it's fantastic for everyone. Downtown is truly the heart of Miami and the pulse of everything comes from, from this, this neighborhood. We have, what, close to 200,000 professionals commute in and out of our downtown every day during the weekday. Our store used to close at six o'clock every day. And for the last two to three years, we've extended our hours to eight o'clock at night. You now have an active nightlife, restaurants, and people staying later in the downtown safely and securely. I think the nightlife scene is going through a big transformation here in downtown. I see a lot of people my age moving to downtown because we have all of the bars and new restaurants. It's becoming the new hit spot, in my opinion. You have places like Mary Brickle Village, which houses a bunch of different restaurants and bars. It's becoming more of an after-hour spot. It's actually a 24-hour destination. If you're a local, I mean, you want to live here. Welcome to our program, Venture Hive. We have a 30,000 square foot space right in the heart of downtown. We have 31 companies here from 23 different countries who have decided to move here to make their businesses here. If you're an entrepreneur and you have a big idea, you don't have to go to California or New York or Boston or Austin to do it. We are creating that ecosystem and all of that support so that anyone anywhere in the world can find a home, not just for their idea, but for their family in downtown. As a venture capital firm in downtown Miami, we're a little different from our peers because we actually invest in people and ideas. And what that means to us is we actually bring our folks into Miami. And so you have to be located in a wonderful place. The beautiful thing about being in Miami is it's a beautiful lifestyle where you can live, work, and play. And we have folks that come to work with us from all different parts of the world and everybody wants to come to Miami. Well, downtown Miami's growing art scene is pretty exciting, obviously with the uh, opening of the PAM. It's sort of become the anchor for the developing arts community in downtown. And uh, it's a really fantastic uh, uh, museum and building and we're really happy to kind of be in close proximity to what's going on there. From someone that has lived here for a long time, like I rediscovered downtown. And, and I was really surprised at like the things that were happening. One of the things that I really love about downtown Miami is the mover. You have this sort of free uh, transit system that connects all of the venues in downtown together. So it's almost like this perfect place where you can come and like take in not just one space, but hop on a mover and, and go around and you know be taken to other things. 
Downtown Miami has a good transportation system already with the Metro Rail and Metro Mover systems. What we're doing with All Aboard Florida is creating a transit hub that will allow the cities of Orlando, West Palm Beach, and Fort Lauderdale to connect. All Aboard Florida is the country's only privately funded uh, railroad infrastructure project. We are creating a connection between Miami and Orlando where 50 million people a year are already traveling uh, that will allow them to get there in three hours. I would say the biggest misconception people have in downtown Miami is that there's no life after 6 o'clock. Uh, I think that's changed drastically. I think the Miamian is, is not only looking to connect uh, socially at, at the nightlife scene, but they're also looking to connect on the fitness scene. And we're seeing it just grow leaps and bounds. You're seeing, you're seeing the run clubs pop up. You're seeing people training for the Miami Marathon. You're seeing people at CrossFit, uh, all, the, all the gyms in the area. What I love most about downtown Miami, it's the mix of people that we have, the different languages you hear out there. Just the warmth I think we're feeling for, for downtown Miami. People are actually proud to say they're from Miami, that they live downtown. You didn't have that five, six years ago. My name is Leslie Pollock. John Richard. Julie Neitzel. Laurent Ficicini. Randy Alonso. Susan Abbott. Greg Daniel. Scott Sanders. Lady Rodriguez Casanova. Frankie Ruiz. And I work. And I live. And I invest. And I run in downtown Miami.